See, I gotta do that to get the blood flowing and the juices going, you know. Get me mm -hmm. amped. I'd be nervous, you know. This is new. We was talking about that yesterday. Um, um, we sure was. But um, before we get into all that, please, um, I got a special guest, y'all. Please introduce yourself, sis, and let them know who you are, where you're from, and all that good stuff. Well, my name is Drea, and I have a channel on YouTube called Drea Talk. So I am in St. Louis. I'm originally, I grew up in Arizona. I'm originally from East St. Louis, Illinois, though, but I stay in St. Louis, Missouri right now. But I travel all over the place, so, you know, and I'm known for my mouth, talking, talking my ish, you know? Yeah, I call you Miss Dre. I say Miss Drea talk. <laughs> <laughs> I see well, you crafting something over there. What you crafting? Um, so I have my own. I make custom jewelry with crystals, um, stones and crystals, uh, healing stones and crystals. So um, right now I'm making a, a necklace that has um, Anubis. I don't know if you know about Anubis. That's I sure song. do. Wow, that yeah, is well, incredible. Is, it's not done yet, but this will kind of be uh, what it'll look like. And so it has hematite and um, onyx, which are really uh, good protective stones of energy. So it keeps away negative energy. Also helps you from blocking EMF, which is like radiation stuff like that. Keeps you calm, peaceful in a chaotic situations. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely I'm gonna definitely need one of those. Yeah, the guys they be buying this. <laughs> yeah, I need I that exact one. I do one. too. So yeah. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah, well the topic the topic for tonight is uh, men are we got a mixture of things, but men are not supposed to cook and clean. I wanted to chop it up on Jada Pickett Smith and her new look. And then you, the master of um, this talk right here with this holistic talk. So <laughs> we're going to let you, you know, hold the court and run the floor on that. But let's start with that um, first topic as far as um, what's your thoughts on that? As far as men are not supposed to cook and clean, wash dishes, do the laundry if they got a woman at home. True or uh, false? It depends on what it depends on if there's a provider. Uh, if there's a main provider in the household and in the family, then that would kind of be different. You know what I'm saying? Like if one actually carries more of the weight financially than the other, then I think that that's what that would determine who should be doing it. And if they both carry kind of the same weight, me personally, I feel like they both could do it. You know what I mean? Like it just depends on work schedules and stuff like that. We're in a working class. Um, you know, environment now a day. So sometimes the dad have to work just as much as the mom, or it's not really like the situation like back in the day where the man brought home the bacon, like they used to call it. <laughs> the man oh, yeah, home bring the home the bacon. <laughs> Go ahead, keep <laughs> going. Bring the ass bacon, you know. But um, it ain't like that no more. Like nowadays, it's like women really. Sometimes the woman is carrying more weight than the man, and vice versa. Or they're both working just as hard. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that would have to be a conversation. For me, it, it should be a conversation between both partners on, on who carries that kind of weight. Would you say, um, should it be like percentage-wise, what would you say? Because some people like to say 50-50 or 60-40. So in that case, would, you, would it be something you can round off and say percentage-wise, how, how much would it favor you know what I'm saying? The man and that much, if, if he can't do, if, if he's not supposed to do none of that, then I mean, the the percentage got to be about what? <laughs> I mean, she putting, in, she putting in all the percentage. And, and, and isn't that right? Listen, I, can I talk on a situation I was in? Go ahead. Uh, I was engaged, my last engagement, actually. Uh, we were engaged for three years. We were together four. Um, I worked just as much as he worked, but Getting still, I still did the laundry. I mean, when I'm talking about did the laundry, I did the washing and the folding. And everybody in the household cooked every night down there for everybody in the household. You know what I mean? Like, still had to do yard work sometimes because he wasn't pulling his weight. So in my opinion, like, I really feel like, like I said, if y'all both are working just as hard, then you should split the responsibilities 
uh, the housework. It doesn't matter what it is, sweeping, washing the dishes, cooking, whatever it is, washing clothes, you still should be able to split that with me or help me in that process. Hey, I it agree with you work. because listen, listen, I agree with you. Some of these dudes, they're going to say these, and I ain't going to hold back some of these niggas. They're going to say, oh, he a simp. I done did my lady laundry before in, in multiple relationships. I do your laundry. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going, you might as well send your clothes with me. Because <laughs> you're going to make sure your clothes is clean. <laughs> oh, you already know. <laughs> you know, y'all be, be making moves too. So, you know, you can't depend on you. You know, y'all got your independence, you know, that y'all been holding on to. Some right. some of y'all do it better than others, but I think that's something us men have to come to grips with. You know what I'm saying? I, I I had a brother I know he posted that post um today on Facebook saying something to that extent. Like if you're gonna deal with a real woman out here, you gotta get used to her, you know, being independent in some sort of way. Mm-hmm. Facts. Definitely that. So I think we kind so, of agree um, on that. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I agreed on that when I said, "Yo, Dan, that's a thumbs up." But <laughs> have you seen? Speaking on um, the, um, I want to jump on Jada Pinkett Smith. Did you see her recent new look? Ah, uh, she said uh, she chopped it all off. You know, what I'm saying, being a, you know inspired or encouraged by her daughter. Uh, well, she hasn't really put her kids in a. <laughs> And then I'm going to come off judgmental, but I'm a Virgo too. So I guess I can't come off judgmental. I'm another Virgo. Um, so I'm going to give myself a pass on that. Okay. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but considering how they have like raised their children and to the point that they both have kind of lost their mind at some point in their life, you know what I mean? Like they didn't even know which way to go. So for you to get inspiration from your child whom you kind of dropped the ball on raising very well, and that's just my opinion. Um, that just says, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I do all that. Because, I don't know. Like, we don't even know where Willow's head is, do we? Like, <laughs> No, we don't. Um, I read an article not too long ago that was saying something of that she's into this... Um, this poly thing. So, you know, she's she's into this poly thing. Uh, whereas, you know, multiple, you know, you know how they do it, you know, how the the Hollywood style though, you know. So I don't know if she has, you know, two girls, one guy, or two guys, one girl. I don't know what I she's I think doing it's called poly Andrew, if it's two yeah, they, guys. I, mean, on I girl. think that's what it is too, exactly. Thank you for put, bringing that to um <laughs> I kind of struggle sometimes with that. I know the okay. difference, but it's so it's so weird how they keep orchestrating it. So I'm like, you know, I just stick to what I know, which is uh polygyny, um, right. based on being all termed off, you know, like um with the term polyandry, you know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's the basics of it. I mean, but I think she was kind of inspired by it, and I wanted to get your thoughts on what you think as far as maybe it also playing a role as far as her, like, some people would say, you know, midlife crisis, man. I, I mean, I would say, after what we found out about Jada, let's just talk about that for a second. We gotta, we can't skip over that, talking about Jada. Yeah, we can't okay? skip over that. <laughs> after, like, just knowing that she was dating her son's, like, friend, you know what I'm saying, which is August, and um, that was like her her side dude or whatever. And like Will gave her permission and stuff like that. And like she got out of the situation. Why? Because they never really said why. She, but she even admitted then on the Red Table Talk that she was like not feeling wanted or whatever. So basically she used him. Uh, <laughs> for the process of what she needed to have done. So do I trust her judgment on saying that she was taken in, um, you know, what her daughter said could be help of why she did that? I, I really just think that Jada, given all this um, advice to everybody else, and she needs to take a break and just kind of figure herself out. That's my honest opinion. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so, too. She definitely needs to. I mean, she does her red table talk. I like to see who's doing red table talk with her ass. 
I'm just I mean, saying, I'm honest. letting her know and all, but I'm saying sometimes we we so so involved in healing other people, and that's that's like a trait of Virgos too. Yeah, that's a and fact. We, that's a fact. I and give so you we that. be so involved in helping other people that a lot of times we lose ourselves, and sometimes we don't know when to tell ourselves to stop helping everybody else. Take this time for yourself, intercede with yourself, and figure out. You know what I'm saying? Take the time to heal yourself because when you giving out so much energy to caring about everybody else's issues and taking care of everybody else, you you abandon yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying is I feel like out of all that stuff that she was going through with Will and, and what was going on with August and all that stuff, did she even have time to heal? Did she even heal? Like, I mean... That's a I great mean, question. Yeah. <laughs> that ball yeah. don't look right on her, though. I'm just being honest. Like, yeah, that's why I thought it would be fun to, t to talk on the topic because I'm like, some men feel a certain way about it. And I do too. I mean, she completely just chopped her head clearly off. I don't, I, if she had a fear outside of her marriage, I'm, I'm pretty sure she didn't like tell her husband, you know, I'm about to just chop it all off. What you think about it? <laughs> I don't think he had to say so. <laughs> and my question is, do you think like men find that attractive? Um. Well, you know, let, I mean, I'm going to touch on this. Women, we do tend to do some drastic changes to ourselves in a way whenever we get over a breakup. Like me, I got tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Like after breakups, and I have cut my hair. <laughs> after breakups or dye my hair after breakups or just started dressing more sexier after a breakup and getting outside. You know what I'm saying? So we do different things after um, a breakup or going through something really traumatic. So that's why I was saying, that's why I was kind of hitting to that. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it's something really going on inside of her and she just not letting people on, telling people, you know, she kept all that other stuff with August a secret for a long time, even though people were speculating. So maybe that's kind of what it is, and she just giving that answer. You know what I'm saying? Just so people can brush it off and be like, "Oh, she's just doing it because her daughter said blah blah blah." You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how these celebrities do crap. But as far as Will, I don't think he cares either which way. I think Will like men anyway. So <laughs> I think everybody know that the cat is on <laughs> the bag with that. Right? So I don't really think he cares. He probably likes it better with her ball. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Probably puts him in the mind of probably, one of his boys. <laughs> probably did him a favor on that one, ain't it? <laughs> right. crazy, See, that's why your videos be getting flagged now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're funny. I like your stuff. But yeah, um, <laughs> delving into this holistic stuff, you know, how long have you been um, a participant, a student? Um, you know, a practitioner, you know, master, because I'm gonna call you a master, you know, I ain't gonna lie with you. Um, no, so I'm just a master student. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. That's good I'm enough. I'm a master student in it, but I started getting really I've always been kind of really healthy, like growing up and stuff. I, you know, ran track and you know, um, I just you know, from running track in high school, like well, I wouldn't even say, can you still hear me? Yeah, you're good. Okay, because I hit my earpiece and sometimes it'll cut it off. But um, okay. just running track in like elementary and high school, I was a long distance runner. I've always been slim my whole life. And it's just like, I never did like too many bad foods. It just never sat well with me. So growing up, I never really been a bad eater. I was always like eating vegetables and stuff like that. But the more um, I'm getting, like I'm spiritual, right? So I'm tapping into myself spiritually and things like that. And just been introduced to like Dr. Sebi and some of his teachings and stuff like that. And then just learning the body from watching my grandmother, um, like, what has it been, 10 years now? Whoa, that's a long time ago. 10 years ago, my grandmother, she died, um, but she was having a lot of blockages to her heart. So she had like three of her arteries blocked. She had uh, bypass surgery. She had strokes, heart attacks, all types of stuff. And I just used to sit up and watch her eat pork all day long. And I mean, I used to be like, <laughs> and, like, you got all these issues. Like, so up until like her deathbed, basically, I was her caregiver, my sister and I, and she would be like, make me some pork and blah, blah, blah. And that just turned me off. Like, I never really ate pork like that anyway, but it just turned me off. And I was just like, okay. And then I started getting, you know, spiritually connected and stuff like that. And I'm like, 
started learning what it actually does to the body and then what meat does to the body and then learning about what causes mucus, which mucus causes disease. Every disease out there that, that's known to man has been caused by mucus, which what gives you mucus, dairy, meat, you know, all the things that are bad for you <laughs> is what gives you mucus. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Keep going so, in. You're right. You're right. Because yeah. Dr. Sabi um, had chimed in about that and dropped that knowledge. So, yeah, keep right. keep giving them that knowledge. Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, um, that's OK. But more so since the virus, which has been what going on two years now that we've been dealing with this um, pandemic and stuff like that. I call it a pandemic, <laughs> but pandemic. And, um, you know, just to know that there was something out there that was supposedly killing people at a mass rate, you know what I'm saying? And the symptoms were like flu-like. And I'm like, what what could, could it be? You know, and learning that um, what I could do in case I had any symptoms, you know, because before I was doing more of the research and I'm like, what what is it I could do to if I do get symptoms, you know? And I was learning a lot of the holistic ways, like the ginger root and boiling that with um, lemons. And I remember when I lived in New York um, seven years back, um, I got really sick out there and they had remedied up something for me with ginger root in it and lemons. And it was like a tea type form. And I drank it and it knocked everything out, like literally within 24 hours. I remember how strong it was, but it literally cleared me out and stuff like that. So wow. I just started doing more research on those things. And then the more research I did on it, the more I was putting the information out there online on my speaking platform. And people mm -hmm. were using it. And then I was learning about the different vitamins, A, C, D, zinc, elderberry, mm -hmm. you know? So I just started, it just started building from there. And I started learning what all of these different components and minerals and stuff do. And literally a lot of these um, are part of our 102 minerals that us as nine ether beings, carbonated beings, melanated beings, black folks need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, in order to absolutely. even survive, you know, we don't have the same DNA makeup as anybody else on this planet. Um, and we're the solid DNA. We're the DNA that created all of the beings on this planet. So when I started doing that research and started knowing that it's like, okay, it's important for me to get this information out there to my people. So that they can heal themselves because um yeah. there's a, a a quote and i can't remember is i want to say it's a buddhist quote or something like that but it's basically saying like the the biggest um healer is healing thyself mm. you know what i'm saying there's no there's no medicine out here that heals you there is no um no doctor out here that can heal you all doctors do is patch you up and they give you palliative care, which is just to subside any type of symptoms. Mm -hmm. But really, your body heals itself. So some of those things is just really rest and things like that. Or they may give you something to build your immune system, which your immune system fight the actual disease or virus. Wow, that's deep. And then a lot of it, that's why they tell you when you have cancer and stuff like that, don't be around stressful situations, be peaceful, mm -hmm. you know, because stress is like the number one killer, though. So what you think in your mind, that's why placebo and all those, those things help people, because they really start thinking, OK, if you give somebody a pill and you say this is going to cure you mentally, they're going to be like, this is going to cure me. And when they take it, it really will cure them. But it really was nothing in that pill. That's what mm. the placebo effect is. Basically, just making you want more. It's like, you know, that, that, that's all it's really doing. It's actually you know, making you believe like you're, you're tricking your subconscious. So what you're doing is telling yourself, because we create whatever it is that we need or we want, but that's on a whole nother level. <laughs> but that's where manifestations come in. But the placebo effect is all they did was put it in a physical form but they made you basically manifesting it. When you take this pill, you're like, I, the doctor said I'm going to be healed. So in your mental, you're saying you're going to be healed when you're taking that pill. But that pill doesn't have anything to heal you. It's just they tricked you to where you mentally feel like you're healed. And it's worked plenty of times. That's why they call it the placebo effect. But it gives me. <laughs> Hey, hey, you right on the money. You right on the money with that. Um, people, if they don't believe you, they can always do their own um, yeah. research. Like some people say, Google is your friend. 
you yeah, know. So um, I use Google. Uh, I use DuckDuckGo because Google is a privately owned company that's linked up with a lot of stuff that's going on. You know, with these. Oh, I know that's right. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard about that one too. So yeah, that's, that's <laughs> kind of bomb effect. I gotta get my equipment soon. I would have dropped a bomb on that one. <laughs> what about C? What about what about CMOS? Um, you know, CMOS, are you oh into that? Yes, CMOS has all the like literally. I think CMOS, CMOS has ninety two of the minerals that we need out of the hundred and two, if I'm not mistaken. So that would that's your one hit equator. Yeah, because yeah, I got a friend that I was um uh, um well I have a friend <laughs> that um I do music with and um you know due to his situation he was using some CMOS and he was good. But, yeah. um, you know, due to his health situation, he started going through some things. And I think him, you know, laying off that probably played a role, too, because, you know, that's how the body reacts sometimes. You know, when you get in that good stuff, you know, it, it'll crave for more. And sometimes we ignore it, you see. Yeah. And, um, you know, because we don't pay are, attention to it. Those aren't things that you just pick up for a minute and sit down. That's medicine. Medicine is not, it doesn't heal you. But the things that your body actually needs on an everyday basis is what your body is made up of. You want to continue that. That needs to be a lifestyle. Absolutely. You're right. Mm -hmm. And with people like you and others amongst you, you know, that do the same kind of work, it's, you know, it's like it's crucial for us to be able to work with each other and support each other and, and stuff like that. And I mean, for some, they might say, ah, oh, it's not for me. You know, they talking that same hotep shit and all that. <laughs> um, you know, peace, black man, black queen stuff and all that. But I mean, it's all, it all goes hand in hand to me. You see what I'm saying? It's like, whether mm -hmm. we dealing with um, these relationships and stuff, they talking about the same thing. They talking about how old oh, women are at an obesity rate. And so what we saying tonight is definitely on point. Any, th any yeah. thoughts to that? So, like, you know, some people might think, you know, we reach in with a little bit of too much of the the um, consciousness talk. With, I mean, I think it's all, you know, hand in hand. Wouldn't you agree? Well, you know, basically the the stomach is is what controls your consciousness. It's what controls your um your thinking, how you think, how you perceive things is what gives you um the direction. You know what I'm saying? Like how you make decisions is decision making. So since we know that that, that um, affects that part of your brain, wouldn't you want your stomach to be fed something that's going to feed your brain? They're all in connection. The stomach is in connection with the brain. Mm. So why would you want to wow. not feed your brain something that's going to keep it at its most powerful when you know that there are people out here and there's so much deception out here in this world? So you need that thought process. That needs to be as strong as it can be. That's what gives you your intuition and your discernment keep you out of trouble, keep you from, you know, going down the wrong path. I think you're right, because my thing is, to me, um, always being, you know, having this native side to me as far as, you know, to the land, all of us do. Like you say, where you your background, where you come from, my family's from South Carolina, so, you know, deep in the country, the mosquitoes yeah, were whipping my ass outside <laughs> just now, you know. <laughs> like I said, I'm my, going my, to New York. My, family, my background is from South Carolina, but, and that's funny because I just recently started doing, like, genealogy backgrounds and stuff like that on my own. And that's real. And stuff. that's what's going to go to my point, not to cut you off, was that people, like, when you're saying holistic, even the point to where we're, like, their slogan, they say, eat what you kill. That's more healthier than, like you said, what we put mindful of what we're putting in our bellies. That's more healthier than when we're going to these stores buying all this stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna if you're gonna do it, you might as well farm your own animals and um, grow your own foods because we already know that there's pesticides. They have, I mean, I'm gonna just drop this. Watch fooding. That was put out back in 2000. I want to say five or six or something like that. It's on Netflix. You can pull it up. It's a documentary. They literally, it's all farmers coming out and saying how they're making them. Um, take care of these chickens and these cows and, and they're basically brutalizing them and what you eat and what that animal um, the trauma that that animal took on what you eat you're going to take that on that's energy right so if it's bad energy all in that animal it was it was depression sadness anger you know what I'm saying from them getting beat on and, and whatever happens to them you know what I'm saying getting shot up with steroids and all this other stuff 
then you're basically ingesting that. This yeah, energy, energy travels, like energy is deep. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think people really, you know, know about that either. But, you know, if you care about yourself at all, you know what I'm saying? Then that's when you should do the research on, okay, what's healthier for me? But some people don't care about their health. So that's where we go with that. It really ain't no hotep nothing because I'm not even a hotep person. You know what I'm saying? I'm just spiritually in tune with the universe, you know, and earth. But, um... I'm just saying, if you actually care about your body, then you would, if it's important to you to be as healthy and live as long as you you can, then you're going to do the research and, and figure out what that is that you need to do in order for that to happen. Most definitely, most definitely. I wanted to just say something out the blue just now because we was talking on Jada Pinkett Smith. I know, right? So <laughs> did anybody ever tell you she looked like you? Because uh, I know many people say, you look like so-and-so, but... They famous and all that, so I don't. I like to reverse it. I'd be like, they look like me. So <laughs> did anybody ever say that she looks like you? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because I heard it a few times and it was like, what? Because I didn't heard a few people, but that one was like that happened what two years ago, and then I just kept hearing it a little bit more after that. I'm like, that's crazy. Maybe it's because she's more on TV recently or something. Maybe it's the bone structure, you know, like the cheekbones, high cheekbones or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, we we doing our thing, we doing mm -hmm. our little numbers. You doing pretty good for yourself, you know. I support you definitely. So I mean, with yeah, the little bit of guests we got, I just want to have some fun with it because I've seen it done before. But to to my people that's watching right now, if you think mm -hmm. that you know Miss Drea look uh, well, Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> resembles Miss Drea. Put a one in the chat, man. Let's see if that. Oh let's see God. if we can do that. Maybe I might oh, be. Hey, looks could be deceiving, man. I just well, made a I'm video. Not even shy, but when it comes to stuff like this, then I get like that little shy mode. But That's yeah. out to my brother Shaka Nulu. He said Marshawn Lynch looks like me. He, he, he you right, yo. <laughs> he, he found his look alike. <laughs> he got his look alike. Oh man. Yo, you right. Yo, he looked just like you, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to have to check that what, out. <laughs> what, what, uh, what he used to say, what are we here for? Or something like that <laughs> when they interview him. He used to get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if they could chime in. But yeah, back to the jury. How long were you doing the jury? Uh, that was just something that happened during the pandemic. Um, I lost my job during the pandemic. Um. And uh, they just called me back, like, literally this year. That's crazy. Um, but I, so I was out of work for, like, a year. And, like, you know, when I was getting my unemployment, I'm like, I got to, what if we never go back to work? Or, you know what I'm saying? They're like, I just need to work on my own business. I've had three other businesses before that I sat down and started working for other people. I was running bars and restaurants. So um, managing bars and restaurants. So. When that happened, I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to have my livelihood in the hands of nobody else. I'm going to pick back up a business. And so um, I'm into crystals and sage and Palo Santo and spiritual baths and all that stuff. So everything that I'm into, I just decided to incorporate in the store. And because I have a huge spiritual following, um, it just worked out for me very well, actually. So I'm like almost six months in the game. And I've like added so many different other things to my store. And now I have my um, holistic health herbs that are going to be coming out, capsules that'll be coming out next month. And it's called My Ancestors Remedy. So that's another brand that I'm bringing to my store. Wow, that's awesome. Please do <laughs> send me the links, you know, um, yeah. via, you know, Messenger or whatever, like we was doing. Um, I think that is so awesome. I think you're doing a wonderful job. I don't want to hold you yeah. too long. Um, you know, cool I'm here with you. I've been wanting to yeah. get look. I've been wanting to link up with you, and I gotta have you on with me too. And, oh, uh, for sure. I'm, I'm definitely down. gonna share this to my Facebook. You know, that's where all my followers are. So. Okay, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> Just and everything. Oh, and, um, I can't wait till we do some more. We need to do. We need to do some more. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I I would love to to come back whenever you ask me about it. 
All mm-hmm. right. Well, you have a good night. You enjoy your night. And uh, y'all don't forget to check me out on Drea's Hawk on YouTube. And I'm also on Facebook, um, Drea Boss Mylan. I'll be talking my shit. So yeah, you also <laughs> also on TikTok too, right? Oh yeah, I'm on TikTok as Drea Boss Mylan as well. And Instagram, I am Drea Nicole. So okay. I just followed you on TikTok. Did you see that? No, I don't know. It's so many people follow me today. Like I just, I don't know. They came out of nowhere. Like they've been following hey, me. Hey, really that's how the universe works. You know how you know how that goes. That's how the universe works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. All right. Well, you take well, care. Cool, love. Cool. You have a good it was night. cool vibing with y'all, exchanging energy with you, and we'll talk soon. All right. Thank you. Good night. All right. Peace.